Hi, so in this video we're going to go over how to add a single event, how to delete an event, how to add a recurring event, and how to reschedule an event. So on the right column here we always have your three upcoming events and if I click here on see all events I'll see a list view of all these different events and if I click through to one I'll see the details. Um, if for some reason I put in a map you would see a map here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to add this list. So I'm going to come here to my dashboard. I'm going to go to this button called Events. And then I'm going to click Add New. Um, so I'm going to give this a name and I'm going to go to the, uh, the Cursillo calendar here and I'm going to add this one, Advent Evening of Reflection. And I had already clicked more details so I have it right here. So the title would be Advent Evening of Reflection. And the date is December 2nd. And click here. December 2nd. If this went over multiple days, I would click this other box here to set an end date. And now we have the time. The time is 7.30 to 9.30. I'll put in 7.30 p.m. to 9.30. 30 p.m. Um, one really important thing before you scroll down the page is this event status. I want to change this to public because it's more than just a draft. You'll have to excuse my uh, fire alarm next door is ruining this video. Um, so we have the address here 4651 North 25th Street. Put that here under address and then grab the town name with the zip. I'm not going to grab that last four digits of the zip. Put that in under town and the name is Missionhurst, Arlington. So here's all the uh, different name fields and you'll see that the map already found it. And then we have our content area here where you're going to put in any of your details. So let me see. Whoops. Um, I don't really see any details, but this would be, you know, who to contact, um, any other information you want to give them, you know, any PDFs, anything like that. So we'll just put in some test content here. Um, so after that's all set, I'm going to click Submit Event. And now that is on my list. And if I look for Advent of Evening and Reflection, you'll see it right here. So I can come back and edit it later. Um, so that's how I add a single event. Um, you won't see it. Well, I can see it on my event list. Let me find it here. There it is, Advent of Evening and Reflection. And here I have um, where it is, got my map, and this is where my test content would go. So that's how you add a single event. Um, one event that I already added um, is a recurring event. Uh, so let me go back to my event list. And it's this Cursillo School Fredericksburg. So let me find that on the calendar here. Here it is, Cursillo School Fredericksburg. I'm going to click on more details. And I'll see that this is monthly on every fourth Sunday. So I want to add this as a recurring event. Uh, but first I want to delete out all the old ones because I had already added this one. So I'm going to find all the Frederick Berg's ones in here. Three, four, I'm just selecting all the old ones. And I'm going to come up, bulk actions, delete selected events, click apply. Now I've gotten rid of those. There's a couple more on the other pages. getting rid of all of them. Okay, so they're all gone. I'm going to do add new again. I'm calling this Cursillo School Fredericksburg. The uh, start date is November 27th. The time is 9.30 to 11 a.m.
Again, I'm going to change this to public. And then I'm going to click on this thing called recurrence. Um, so I want to do this monthly on every fourth Sunday. So I would choose frequency is monthly every one month and it would be the fourth Sunday. Um, so you notice as soon as you check off this recurrence box we also have this recurrence dates thing appear here and I would say let's just add it for the next six months or so. Um, so I would say this is going to start on November 27th and it's going to run through we'll run it through June 30th um, so that'll add all the fourth Sundays between now and June you could add it for the next year for the next two years um, just keep in mind that then you're going to be adding an event um, for each of those so that your events list could get really big and unwieldy um, and once we publish this, it's going to separate this out into however 10 different events or however long that you did it. Um, and then there won't be a way to globally um, change the location or change the time, anything like that. Um, so I'm going to go down here. I still have to do these other details. Um, here's the address. Um, this thing is called St. Mary's. So for this one we actually do have some details. Um, it's after 8.30 mass. All are welcome. And then we're going to contact this woman. Okay, so I'm just going to do one last check here before I publish it. I have my details, I have my name, I have my location, I have my recurrence dates set. Um, so that's all good, just checking to make sure it's public. And then I'm going to go down here and click Submit Event. So now you will see this event added several times throughout your list. Um, and as I mentioned before, you can no longer go in and change everything global for this event. So if I wanted to reschedule an event, I could find, you know, say this one down here and click on it. And now it's treated like a single event. Um, and you see this warning up here, this is a recurring event. If you change these data and save, this will become an independent event. So if for whatever reason an event got rescheduled or the location changed, anything like that, you can go in and edit these events um, individually. And just to show you how it adds back out here, now we have these events added to our list. Um, so that's how to add a single event, how to delete events, and how to add a recurring event, as well as how to reschedule an event.